Give me fuel, give me fire, give me double shot as Welcome to Homestead Miami Speedway for the Mood Springs 400. After nine months of racing around the United States, we're finally ready to finish off this long journey with 21 miles left in the schedule and to see which of the championship four racers will take home the title. Let's take a look at our starting grid. In row one, Lightning McQueen seeking playoff vengeance after being eliminated last week and Chase Race Lot starting in second place. In row two, Carl Reeves in his last part-time race with Stuart Haas Racing since they're shutting down after this race. And A.J. Hull is trying to get that first win of the year before it ends. In row three, Cal Weathers, the defending champion from last year, and Conrad Camber trying to end the year with a win after the first race of the year, the Florida 500. In row four, Master Dragon 4000 also racing for SHR for the last time tonight with Cruz Ramirez trying to go after her fourth championship. In row 5, Brian Spark and Bubba Wheelhouse. In row 6, J.D. McPillar trying to give SHR their last championship with Brandon Powercar trying to get his first win of the 2024 season and his last with the 7 number. In row 7, Phil Tankson and Bobby Swift. In row 8, Colin Bargain running for his first and last championship for SHR and Steve LePage starting 16th place. In row 9, Ed Trunkin and Jackson Storm, last year's winner, trying to keep that win streak alive. And starting in row 10 are Ryan Laney and Daniel Swervis on the worst position for him, trying to be the first International Piston Cup champion. Here's the race format, 14 laps, 21 miles around the 1.5 mile track, and pit road speed is 45 miles per hour. The pace car is off to the pits. Meanwhile, Chase Raceland and Light McQueen will lead the field to the green flag. Meanwhile, four racers will try to take home a championship from Homestead Miami Speedway. Here we go. The green flag is in here and the Mood Springs 400 is underway. Light McQueen already trying to capitalize the race win for Raider Springs Racing. Meanwhile, Carl Reeves and A.J. Hull is trying to make a three wide against Chase Race Slot. Carl Reeves is dropping all the way to the back. That means something is wrong with him right now. Meanwhile, Light McQueen will lead the first lap of the Mode Springs 400. On the top of the screen is showing the highest championship contender. Right now is Cruz Ramirez. In second place is Jay McPillar. Third, Daniel Swervis. And fourth, Colin Bargain. Oh, Carl Reese slammed the wall. He turns the 42 of Cal Wetters and they bring up the first caution of the day. Cruz Ramirez is in it. That's not good. That's a championship contender. Cruz Ramirez is a championship contender. And also, Carl Reese has a tire going down. Well, the tire is already blown up. Let's see what just happened. When Carl Reese slammed the wall, he just. Touch the 42 and then just turn him. And the 42 of Cal Warriors turns in the back straightaway and made some contact with the 41 when the 41 just went to try to go miss it. Here's a helicopter view. Here's what I was talking about. The 41 had nowhere else to go and then went to the front face of the 42. Here's an onward cruiser Ramirez. Just pounded the 14's face. Hopefully no damage is collected in number 51. He was an onboard of J.D. McPillar. Two of J.D. McPillar's teammates. Both of them are racing for SHR. For the last time tonight. And they're just doing this. The 10, 4, 14, and 41 are 
having their last race together because next year the team isn't going to exist anymore. So it's just going to be the 4J McCuller and the Haas factory team. All right, Carl Reeves is entering the pits. He's going to try to replace all four tires since he has one tire down and the other ones are about to blow up if he don't change those tires. So he's following that 45 mile per hour speed limit. So hopefully we don't get any penalties from the 14 car. There's his pit sign in the third pit box. And there he goes, he's about to get all four tires, no fuel and no repairs. And there we go. Carl Reeves pit timing is 17.70. And there he goes exiting the pits. Now he's going to have to merge through that pit lane. And apparently we've not gone to commercials since we have enough laps to go back under green. So the next lap, the lights are off the pace car and then the pace car is going to return to the pits while everybody's going to go back racing. Right now we're not going back racing, the lights are on the pace car. The reason why Carl Reeves spun out while coming out of turn number two is because this track is pretty slick when it comes to the transition from day to night. That's the reason why uh, you will see some cars just spin around and also this track is multi-groove. Anyways, the lights are off the pace car. Meanwhile, we're ready to go back green. That's the reason why I say he's going back green on the left top of the corner. Alright, as I was saying that this track is multi-groove and also it's mostly weather-based. So, this track is mostly better for some 3 to 4 wide racing. Unless if they don't go way too aggressive and then start wrecking each other and try to cause the big one. If the big one happens, that's going to be a difficult time for the championship four. Mike McQueen, if he wins this race, he's, he's good. He's going to have a good season even without the win. He is just missing some rings. The ring he is missing is... Him being the championship four, and another one is getting his eighth championship. There they go, restarting double foul. So H.J. Hollis will restart to the outside, and Lightning McQueen to the inside. So H.J. Hollis will lead the field back to the green flag once the pace car is off to the pits. All right, there goes the pace car. Making that hard left turn again for the second time tonight. Here we go. We're about to go through the restart zone. And let's try this again. Restart number one from Homestead Miami Speedway. H.J. Hollis is already at the lead and Cruz and Mears is in eighth place. So when the caution came out, she had her position frozen in ninth. No, it was in 8th place. Now it's ninth place. I guess she's dropping to the back already. Side by side for 2nd place. Both Conrad Cameron and Lightning McQueen are fighting for 2nd place. Cruz Ramirez in the highest position in the championship 4. Trying to crown her 4th championship. Meanwhile, J.D. McCullough is a threat to him. There they are. 3 wide in, front of, in the front straightaway. J.D. McCullough is challenging number 51 for the championship. Get ready for the halfway jam.
Jay McKellar is the new championship four leader. Right now, H.J. Holes is still in the race lead. And we have like about seven laps to go. So once H.J. Holes crosses the start finish line, we're about to go with six laps to go. Jay McKellar was able to slingshot against number 51 of Cruiser Mirrors. Meanwhile, in the front, there are three to four wide with Chase Race Lab, Brandon Power Card. Oh, trouble! The 14 gets spun by the number 33 of Ed Truncan. They both bring up the second caution of the day. Not again. The 14 I call Reese must must have a rough night. This is his last part-time season with Stuart Haas Racing and his best finish is 8th place from the Tricky Triangle 400. Here's a look at what just happened. So the 14 got loose and then the 33 just spun around with the 14. That did not look intentional to me. Rough night for the 14. We hope he could do better at Homestead Miami Speedway next year. Here's it is. Here it is. All right, let's ride along with Colin Bargain. Guess the 14 just went all the way down and hit the 33. We'll be right back since Carl Reeves and Ed Trunk can bring up the second caution of the night. Welcome back to the Moot Springs 400. We're ready to go back green next time by. The lights are off the pace car. Meanwhile, we're about to restart with two laps to go. So this is not an overtime restart. This is about to finish the remaining three miles of this race. So no overtime again. Repeat, no overtime. So this race is going to finish under the, the scheduled distance all 14 laps we hope we don't get an overtime restart otherwise it's going to put more pressure on the championship racers and also jay mcpillar could get that first championship slipped away from his hands i'm not saying that jay mcpillar has soiled last year because he wasn't in the, in the series yet and cal wetters was last year's champion championship winner H.J. Hollis is trying to collect that first win of the 2024 season despite him being disqualified from the Tricky Triangle 400. And also Conrad Camber trying to win in Florida two times. He won the Florida 500 in February and he's trying to end the year with the race win at Homestead at Miami Speedway. Alright, they're restarting double file. Meanwhile, we're looking at the highest championship four racer, the ones highlighted in blue. And it's Jay McPillar currently sitting in 12th place. The pace car is off the pits. Let's finish off these three remaining miles of the 2024 season. Here we go. Conrad Camber and H.J. Hollis restarts the field to the green flag. Here we go. Conrad Camber already the great restart. Meanwhile, H.J. Hollis is just trying to avenge that disqualification that he had in Pocono. Here he goes in the race lead. Meanwhile, Jay McPillar is currently the championship points leader. So he must finish higher than Daniel Suarez, Cruz Ramirez, and Colin Bargain. So he does not have to go after the race win. So if he still stays in that position, he will be in the championship. He will be the 2024 champion. Sorry. Meanwhile, H.J. Hollis will see the white flag one more time around here at Homestead Miami Speedway. So less than 1.5 miles or for the 2024 Piston Cup season. Meanwhile, Jay McPillar with four different wins in the 2024 season. He won at Las Vegas twice. He won at Martinsville once and won at Iowa Speedway. Now entering turn three and turn four for the final time. With multiple bad multiple times with bad luck. Jay McPillar. Tonight, he is going to crown his first Piston Cup championship. And there he goes, collecting that checkered flag, and he's the 2024 fictional Piston Cup champion. And actually, Hollis has collected the checkered flag and won the 2024 Mood Springs 400. Congratulations to H.J. Hollis for winning the Mood Springs 400 from Homestead Miami Speedway. Way to go.
Jay McBella was able to give Stuart Haas Racing their last championship and get some beef. Carl Reese has touched the number six and spun him out in the, in the pits. Now Jay McPillar is about to do a burnout. Finally, we see a burnout before the season ended. Again, congratulations to Jay McPillar for getting his first championship win. doesn't do the burnout too hard otherwise his tires are going down and also that engine is cooked. Here are the official results. Ace Shay Hollis is the fastest car of the day. Congratulations to Jaden McPillar for crowning his first championship. Colin Bargain has won the title of Rookie of the Year for winning four times and a championship for appearance. And Conrad Camber has won the title of Part-Time Racer of the Year. Here are the final standings after this race. The racer with the most points who has never joined the 10-car playoff group is Phil Tankson, and the racer with the most wins goes to Jay McPillar, Cruz Ramirez, Colin Bargan, and Light McQueen, because they all have four wins. That's the 2024 Pit Fictional Piston Cup season, because the season is about to end, so thank you for joining the nine-month journey. We look forward to next year with the clash at the Bowman Gray Stadium and the 2025 Florida 500. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Candy Cat Herd 27. Enjoy the rest of 2024.